Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. And today is going to be a fun one. We're going to go back to Anthony Norvell. I found a really wonderful lecture on how to tap the divine mind power currents of the cosmos. This one really stood out to me because I recently did an episode on Thought Currents by Prentice Mulford. And it really struck me because I had gone back over a lot of Abraham stuff. And I really think if you go and read Prentice Mulford and then read any of the stuff that Abraham has done or listen to Abraham, she is really emphasizing thought currents. And so when I found this chapter, this lecture by Anthony Norvell on how to tap the divine mind power currents of the cosmos, I thought it fit well and it would be a great place to go next. Once again, Anthony Norvell was a terrific lecturer and teacher on metaphysics. Very similar, but a little different than what you would get with Neville Goddard. He did not go as biblical with the stuff that he was talking about, but it's very practical information and it comes from a really genuine, authentic place and check out my other episodes on the five aspects of miracle healing on how to build a millionaire consciousness and each one of them have been really terrific and I find myself going back and listening to those as well because some of the affirmations that he uses and the examples are very powerful how to tap the divine mind power currents of the cosmos. There is a vast tidal wave of cosmic power that ebbs and flows through the interstices of the universe. It is the creative intelligence of the cosmic mind that created all things and which sustains the universe. When you once learn how to tap the divine mind power currents of the cosmos, you will be in tune with the infinite and all metaphysical power will be yours. Let us study the methods by which the cosmic power radiates throughout creation and learn how we may avail ourselves of its omniscience, omnipotence, and omnipresence. There is a miracle power in every blade of grass and a divine mystery in every robin's egg with all his scientific knowledge and skill man is not yet able to duplicate the mysterious forces of the cosmos he can however work with them and perform seeming miracles see how the cosmic intelligence created trees so they could breathe in the carbon dioxide that humans and animals exhale and replace it with fresh, life-giving oxygen. See how this cosmic intelligence provides from the soil, the food, the lumber, gold, oil, and coal that mankind needed to survive throughout the ages. And now, when these natural resources are being used up rapidly, future generations can be heated and motorized by the cosmic power that was released through the splitting of the atom. See what vast resources this cosmic intelligence has placed within the Earth's seas. Fish for food, gold, diamonds, and oil in abundance, which man is now learning how to extract from the Earth's seas. See the miracle of a growing tree, which gives man shelter, food, lumber, rubber, sugar, fruits in abundance, and perfume and flowers. The cosmic mind has not neglected one single aspect of man's needs in its creation of the universe. See how the divine mind power currents of the cosmic mind work in the lower forms of creation 
the swallows of Capistrano always know the exact day to fly back to their nests in the famous mission. The salmon knows how to swim back upstream to spawn and complete its life cycle. One eel in the Saragosso Sea swims back 3,000 miles to where it was born to lay its eggs and hatch its young. So accurate is its cosmic memory that it never forgets the place where it was spawned. In nature, this cosmic mind has given to all its creatures protective power and camouflage for their perpetuation. The snake is modeled and colored like its environment. The crab and the armadillo are given bony armor to protect them from their enemies. The squid and the octopus eject a stream of inky substance to conceal themselves when in danger. The puff adder blows itself up with air into a formidable size to frighten off its enemies. One species of lizard is able to detach its tail when it is caught and later grow a new tail. There are thousands of these amazing miracles in the realm of nature. When we examine them carefully, we must be convinced that some superior intelligence is at work in the universe, which not only created all things, but sustains them with a miraculous system of instinct and built-in intelligence that automatically causes them to perpetuate their species and survive. The Divine Mind Within Man when he was questioned about the amazing miracles that he performed, the master metaphysician Jesus replied, It is not I, but the Father within. He doeth the work. Who was this mysterious Father within, of which Jesus spoke? Obviously, it was a higher power than the Master's own conscious mind, or he would not have made such a pointed reference to it. Now with our modern understanding of the human psyche and the studies made by our psychologists and scientists, we know that this statement by Jesus referred to a divine mind power which radiates in and through all human beings and that man may tap these divine currents for all kinds of miracles. When we see the miracles of healing that are performed through the medium of prayer, faith, and spiritual meditation, we must be convinced that some dynamic super force is set into motion in the human consciousness, which does the work of healing in the body. This divine mind power which flows throughout the cosmos is focalized in the human consciousness in dynamic currents. And when a person knows how to release this spiritual power, he can literally perform Miracles. Five channels through which divine mind works. In order to use this power of the divine mind, you must first understand how it works. Just as electricity was in the atmosphere for millions of years and could have been tapped by man for his use, so too this divine mind power is available for any person who wants to use it. But first he must understand the dynamic universal laws under which it works. There are five channels through which the divine mind power currents of the cosmos work. They are one, the conscious volitional mind, where man has the power to choose his destiny and the events of his life. Two, the sense perceptions which reveal the physical and material universe. 3. The intuitive faculties which set the divine mind into action, psychism and extrasensory perception. 4. Soul perception, man's inner spiritual awareness in which God speaks to man in the silence of man's own immortal soul, man's awareness of his immortality and divinity. 5. The Cosmic Memory 
the cell's intelligence and storehouse of racial memories where are stored all the chemical and cellular formulas for creating all living things in the universe. God's memory and the ultimate achievement by man through cosmic consciousness or awareness. Channel 1. Your Conscious Mind The conscious mind in man is also known as the objective mind. It is the mind that makes you aware of yourself, your mental powers, and the outer objective world in which you live. It is through your conscious mind that you are aware of the cosmos and its orderly arrangement. It is in man's conscious mind that he feels the need for worship of a superior intelligence which he has named God. It is in this realm of conscious control that you feel the need to align yourself with some vast superior force which you intuitively feel created you in the entire universe. Your conscious mind is the mind which chooses the people who shall be in your life and who help mold your future destiny. It is also the force within you that helps you select the events that make up the patterns of your destiny. Someone has rightly said, destiny is not a matter of chance, but of choice. It is not something to be waited for, but rather something to be achieved. The laws ruling your conscious mind. The conscious mind can only reflect the higher power of the divine mind when you are aware of your true divinity. When you know that this God power is within you, as it is in every cell of the visible and invisible universe, you will become infused with a new life force. There will be new purposefulness and meaning to your entire life. There are laws that rule this conscious mind and you must observe these laws if you wish to avail yourself of the efficiency and dynamic power that is inherent in your conscious volitional mind. 1. The Law of Order The Law of Order is a cosmic one in that it applies to all creation. There is order in the heavens. All the planets revolve in their orbits without confusion or collision. Think of the countless billions of stars and solar systems bigger than our own which are involved in a cosmic scheme so vast the mind of man cannot comprehend it. Then realize that these planets have such a system of order in their workings that we set our earth clocks by them. Duplicate the law of order in your own mind. Have a schedule by which you live. Write down a list each day of the things you want to accomplish that day. Have a plan and system underlying everything you do. Keep track of your expenditures daily. Rockefeller's system on which he built his vast fortune consisted of jotting down every expenditure, even if it was only a few cents. The mental habits he built of order and system later extended to his vast financial empire and made him a multimillionaire. 2. The Law of Balance Never let your mind race out of control, for the law of balance in nature demands that we pay a price for every excess. The law of balance is likened to the swinging of a pendulum, the same arc it prescribes in its upward motion it must duplicate in its downward swing. When you carry any emotion or indulgence to excess, nature exacts a penalty in order to maintain the law of balance. When you do not sleep enough one night, you must make up for it the next day or your brain suffers from fatigue and inefficiency. An excess of alcohol or cigarettes or sleeping pills must be paid for by the body's reaction to the poisons pumped into the bloodstream. 
with a lowering of the body's resistance, fatigue, and a subsequent slump in all of the body's functions. The divine mind power that works through your conscious mind is a delicately balanced force and quickly withdraws when this law is upset. Each day balance work and play, love and worship, so that you do not have excess of any one thing in your department of your life. 3. The Law of Rationality or Reason The conscious mind works best with the divine mind. When you rationalize your actions and your mental processes, be consciously aware of your use of your conscious powers. Know why you do certain things. Reason out the need for the physical emotion of love. Control the functions of your mind and body. Do not let them control you. Every year, thousands of Americans commit suicide because they have lost the art of rationality. Their minds get out of control because they do not make the daily effort to reason out their actions. Back of every mental cause, there must be some physical effect. When you lose a good job through some thoughtless action, reason out the reasons for the loss. Do not blame society, the government, capitalism, or communism. The cause can be traced back to your own conscious or unconscious acts and thoughts. 4. The Law of Attraction What you put into your conscious volitional mind becomes the pattern of which you shall attract. There is a law of magnetic attraction which applies equally to the mind as well as to the body. You are what you think. Put only those thoughts into your conscious mind which you wish to externalize in dynamic forms of action in your outer circumstances of life. Think friendly thoughts and you will attract friends. If you think thoughts of enmity, hatred, and envy, you will attract people who will personalize these traits in the outer world. You have it within the power of your conscious choice to set the stage for the enactment of your life drama. Do you wish it to be a drama or a tragedy? Is it to be a romantic love story? Is it to become a comedy in which you play the part of a clown? Do you wish a stage setting of beauty and opulence? Or will you select a backdrop of ugliness and barrenness in which to act out your life drama? The choice is up to you. The power of the divine mind within you will help you externalize anything that you consciously choose. Make the choice carefully and then sit back and watch how events will shape themselves to fit your mental pattern of action. Channel 2. Your Sense Perceptions It is through your sense perceptions that you are aware of the objective world of reality. Elsewhere in our study we have learned of the importance of the five senses. Now let us learn how to channelize the divine mind power through these sense perceptions. In this way, you can heighten the effectiveness of your senses and achieve a greater degree of sensitivity in these areas of mental and physical action. 1. Have an awareness of your inner subjective world. Close your eyes in this practice session that should last about half an hour. Be careful of your innermost being. See with your mental vision. Try to recall sights and colors and actions in the outer world of reality. Duplicate them and protect them upon the screen of your inner mind. Then do the same thing with your senses of hearing, touch, and smell. Duplicate your daily actions and apply each of your five senses to these fields of activity. Rerun your day every night when you go to bed, from earliest dawn to end of the day. This inner awareness of your subjective world of emotions, sensations, states of consciousness, and perceptions will help you channelize the power of the divine mind to your every mental and physical faculty. In another practice session, which should last for a full week, 
of at least half an hour a day, sit in meditation and have an awareness of the outer objective world in which you live. Be physically aware of heat and cold, of the room in which you meditate, of the outer world in which you work and love and play. Run through your mind the physical emotions you experience when you eat, when you work, when you dance, when you see a movie, and when you love. Take a walk through the public park or street and be aware of the physical size and dimension of trees, flowers, buildings, and your surroundings. Be aware of form, dimension, and physical characteristics of the environment in which you exist. Notice the trees, the leaves, flowers, and formation of the grass and bushes. If you walk on the beach, notice the sky, the distant horizon, the mountains, the blue skies, the golden sunshine. In other words, make it a point to become physically aware of the entire objective world about you. Just as if you were an artist trying to reproduce everything on a canvas or an author trying to describe everything in a novel. This exercise will tend to channelize the divine mind currents to your conscious mind and increase sense perceptions enormously. 3. Extend this awareness of your sense perceptions to your body and its needs. Consciously be aware of the form and dimensions of your physical body. Look in the mirror at yourself and study your face carefully. See what mental impressions you create in the minds of others with your facial expressions. Put onto your face the mental masks of greed, hate, jealousy, fear, and worry. See how the facial muscles respond to these negative emotions. Now change the mental mask and put on the expressions of charity, love, trust, and confidence, and see how the facial muscles pull upwards, gently giving your face a totally different expression. Channel 3. The Intuitive Faculties The power of the divine mind within you is activated by your intuitive faculties. Everyone has some psychic and intuitive ability. It can be developed so that you can receive divine guidance on every move you make in life. It is possible for man to know the future, not every specific event, but the general trend of his life and destiny. See how this power works in two of nature's great miracles. You've seen a tiny polywog in a country stream. It is a little black squirming creature with long tail but no legs, and certainly does not look a bit like a frog in that stage of its metamorphosis. A short time later, its tail disappears completely and it begins to grow legs and finally takes on its true shape as a frog. Inherent in that polywog was the image of the frog. It can be said that lowly little creature knew its ultimate destiny. The imprint was within its body cells and whatever form of mind it processes. The same can be said of a crawling caterpillar. It certainly does not look like a golden-winged butterfly. Some divine instinct within the creative causes it to weave its cocoon and sleep throughout the long winter to emerge the following spring in its ultimate triumph as a winged creature able to soar aloft in the Empyrean blue. Inherent in the caterpillar was the divine wisdom and prophecy which caused it to weave its cocoon and become a butterfly. It can be said that its destiny was known to the caterpillar. How to release the divine mind through intuition. 1. Intuition is the immediate knowing or learning of something without the conscious use of reasoning. You can use this gift of divine mind consciously. Be aware that you possess psychic powers and that you can tap them at any time you wish. Call upon this power of intuition whenever you are forced to make a decision between two courses of action. Ask this indwelling father questions 
and then wait for the answers. They will come, perhaps not at that exact moment, but at some later time. Many times the answer will come through a letter, through another person, or even in a book, which you are accidentally reading. I remember once I was in New York and I wanted to find a certain book that contained valuable information for me. I could not locate it anywhere in New York. I gave the problem to my higher divine mind and then forgot it. Two weeks later, I had to go to Hollywood on business. I walked into a secondhand bookstore to browse and the first book I took down from the shelf was the book I had desired. This was the result of some higher mind that guided me to that object I wanted. 2. Psychic and intuitive gifts can be cultivated deliberately. The voice of the Spirit speaks universally to every cell of the universe. In the spring, the trees burst forth in foliage, and the flowers bloom under some divine instinct which tells them it is springtime. In the soil, the seed sprouts and grows under the divine impetus to create its own kind. In man, this same divine gift of intuition works its creative miracle if we are aware of the voice of the Spirit that is constantly trying to guide and direct us. Sit in the silence for at least a half hour a day while you are consciously trying to develop this psychic and intuitive gift. Ask of this higher divine mind specific questions and then wait for the answers. Is this person honest? Can I trust him? Should I let myself love this person? Should I make this new business move? Should I take this trip? After you have asked your questions, sit for a while and wait for the answers from divine mind. If nothing comes through immediately, do not become discouraged and give up. Go about your regular activities and the answer may come through at night, while sleeping or during your working hours. Sometimes it does not come as a direct answer, but only as a prompting. Or many times the answer comes in the guise of another person. 3. Concentrate your psychic powers on some person you know and let your higher mind reveal what is true about him. You can ask questions of this higher mind and some force within you will give you the right answers. Many times people conceal their true natures, but the higher divine mind within you knows the truth about everyone. You can penetrate the masks of others through cultivation of this higher psychic and intuitive gift. At first you may not want to believe some of the things your higher mind tells you, but later you will find out that it was right. Haven't you, upon meeting some new person, felt an instinctive sense of not trusting him? Later, weren't your suspicions justified? 4. To cultivate this intuitive faculty of the divine mind, further sit in silence and let mental images come through to you. These mental pictures may be of foreign countries you want to visit. They may be of a future home in which you wish to live. The mind may feel that it is jumping from place to place, but follow its workings for at least half an hour. Later in your life, some of the events that flashed upon the screen of your inner mind will actually duplicate themselves in the outer world, and you will know then that you had a psychic flash of an event that was predestined to occur in your life. A lieutenant in the South Pacific during the Second World War saw a picture of a movie star in a magazine. He fell in love with her. She was his mental ideal. He carried the picture in his wallet and every night before going to bed, he would look at the picture and mentally visualize that they were married and living together in a beautiful home in the valley. This mental picture became so vivid in the young man's mind that he literally believed someday he would meet the girl and marry her. A few months later, he was in San Francisco at a big party. He was handsome in his blue navy uniform, and as he walked across the living room, he saw a vision in white floating towards him. It was the girl of his dreams. She walked towards him as if mesmerized. Suddenly, they were in each other's arms, dancing. She fell madly in love with the handsome young lieutenant, and a short time later, they were married. This real-life romance happened to movie star Ruth 
Hussey. And now, many years later, the love affair that was prophesied through her husband's psychic vision has survived and brought them both the happiness and fulfillment they desired. Channel 4. Soul Perception There is a difference between psychic perception and soul perception. Psychic perception has to do with the outer world of people and events of action and reaction. Soul perception has to do with man's inner awareness in which God speaks to man within the silence of man's own immortal soul. It is there, within the sanctuary of your soul, that the divine mind reveals its own magnificent design for your present and future life. When you are able to tune in on these divine pulsations, you can duplicate the vast miracle powers of nature and of the illumined souls who were seers, prophets, and mystic leaders of the past. How to Receive Soul Perception 1. Withdraw from the world of harsh reality and create an atmosphere of soft candlelight and music. You can have incense burning if you wish. The higher spiritual faculties are often activated by such aids. This is why in many large churches there is candlelight, incense, and soft light through stained glass windows. Many times images of sacred symbols such as a cross or saints are used to stimulate these higher faculties so man may better attune himself to the sacred vibrations of the divine image. This exercise in meditation should be a daily event of 10 or 15 minutes. During such times, lock out all thoughts of problems and worries and talk to God in the silence of your own soul. 2. Soul Perception can often come to you in the midst of your everyday activities. Sometimes a great flood of inspiration will follow when you have done some good or charitable deed for another person. Often when you view a magnificent sunrise or a sunset or some scene of grandeur in nature, like the Grand Canyon, you will feel welling up within you a deep spiritual emotion that overpowers your senses and is so penetrating that you feel close to tears. Very often music will have this same effect when it's transcendentally beautiful. I recall the first time I saw the magnificent Pantheon on the Acropolis in Athens, Greece, in the full noon, as I stood before that ancient temple to the goddess Athena and viewed the Aegean Sea shimmering in the distance and saw the vast, ancient and modern city of Athens sprawling as far as the eye could see. I felt a sudden sense of soul perception that made me aware of the march of history through the historic land where democracy was born. A feeling of cosmic awareness swept over me that made me one with all the multitude of great souls who had viewed this most inspiring monument to man's divinity. 3. Soul perception comes to you when you have deep faith in God and His illimitable powers. You can walk with God daily, and His ever-abiding presence will guide you unerringly through soul perception. 4. When you align yourself with the spiritual qualities of the divine mind, you will also implement your powers of soul perception. These divine qualities are love, goodness, truth, beauty, forgiveness, and charity. 5. Faith and prayer put you in tune with the divine mind power that reflects throughout the universe. Man's consciousness is like the earth. It flourishes and flowers only when the sun shines upon its surface, giving it life and motion. When man is out of the consciousness of the divine cosmic mind, he blocks out the sun of spirit, and his life is barren and futile. When he basks in the golden light of the spiritual sun, he flourishes and grows wise, and his gifts and talents flower, and he blesses the earth with his creative mind. Prayer releases a golden stream of spiritual light, life, and intelligence. Dr. Alexis Carroll said of prayer, that is a force as real as terrestrial gravity. 
In experiments conducted by scientists and ministers, it was found that when prayer was said over wheat and corn that was planted, it yielded two to three times as much as seed that was not prayed over. In an experiment with growing things, it was found that cursing the tender young shoots made them wither and die. Loving the growing plants made them flourish and mature. There is a miracle power in the atmosphere about us that responds to prayer and faith. 6. The power of divine love also helps man channel this divine mind power to all his actions. In tests conducted by a famous pediatrician in the care of young children, it was found that children who were not given love often died in the crucial first year of life. On each baby's chart, this doctor writes, This child is to be picked up on the hour and loved. It doesn't matter whether it is a nurse, a stranger, or the mother. The important thing is that the children who are given this type of human love grow and become healthy, happy, balanced children, whereas when they are denied love, they seldom survive the first year of life. Channel 5. The Cosmic Memory it is within the cosmic memory that God stores all the chemical and cellular formulas which He uses to create all living things in the universe. The universe is built according to a master plan which follows a mechanical design in structure. This is basically repeated in all created objects. The atoms which make up all matter are little building blocks that are actually invisible. When they are drawn together by the law of gravity, they become plants, trees, mountains and moons and stars. The entire universe is created and sustained by a flow of invisible substance, which we call spirit or intelligence. As the intelligence flows throughout the universe, obeying some higher creative command, it arranges itself in shapes and forms that are imprinted upon a sea of spiritual protoplasm. There are fewer than 100 different types of atoms in the universe, from these arranged in millions of different patterns and designs. All creation is formed, everything in the mineral, vegetable, animal, and human kingdoms derives from these primary atomic building blocks. Science cannot understand the power that is behind the atom. It is still a complete mystery. In metaphysics, we can begin to understand something of this mystery of creation. The cosmic memory reveals to mankind many of its innermost secrets. We now know, for instance, the basic structure of all atoms. The electron is a negatively charged particle that forms a part of all atoms. The neutron is one of the fundamental uncharged particles of an atom. The proton is a fundamental particle of the nuclei of all atoms carrying a unit of positive charge of electricity. The nuclei is the central part of the atom around which the other parts revolve. They are held in place by the rapidity of their motion in a gravitational field similar to the sun, with all the planets revolving around it in their orbits. From this microscopic structure, the atom, God builds everything from star to snowflake. The infinite variety of creation attests to the fact that some very high order of cosmic intelligence is back of all creation. Regime to Tap Cosmic Memory 1. Study the universe in which you live. Try to understand the processes that go on within the universe. Study the world of nature. See how growth occurs. Try to probe the secrets of nature by observation. And curiosity. Some of our great scientists have probed these cosmic secrets and given to man a vast variety of new products, foods, and treasures. 2. Look at a blade of grass or a grain of sand and try to see the process of creativity which cosmic intelligence used to fashion these elements. A scientist in France studied snowflakes for 40 years and never found any two alike. No blade of grass or grain of sand is ever like any other. Even twins are never exactly alike. 
the cosmic mind is an original artist that never creates any two things exactly alike. Study flowers and fruits and see how the cosmic mind fashions these delights to the eye and the palate. Take an orange or a pomegranate apart. See how nature has separated the segments with a layer of skin, how carefully she has placed the seed within the fruit, or they will not be disturbed. Try to comprehend some of the mystery of creation by a careful study of the laws under which the cosmic mind of God works in his creation. 3. Observe the law of growth that is in the universe. Then attempt to duplicate it in your own life. Your mind must grow and evolve. Your consciousness must grow from the physical to the spiritual. You must evolve through study and try to expand your interests to encompass many different branches of knowledge. 4. Work with the laws of the cosmos rather than against them. There are three laws which you should observe. The law of usefulness, the law of productivity, and the law of action. Any object that loses its usefulness in the scheme of things is automatically discarded by nature. Try to maintain your usefulness to an advanced old age. Keep on producing and creating all your life in some way. Have an avocation as well as a vocation so that you can keep your mind and body constantly stimulated by new interests. Then, last but most important, observe the law of action mentally and physically. Keep yourself busy and never stop creating something for the world. This regime will assure you of keeping in tune with the cosmic mind where all intelligence resides. You will reflect more power and energy once you are in tune with the infinite mind of God through his cosmic memory. So to summarize, we begin with, first of all, the divine mind power currents flow through the cosmos, including yourself. And the miracle power is tireless in creation and is the divine mind within man, the father within, who performs miracles. He goes over the five channels in detail through which divine mind works. And then the laws ruling your conscious mind, your sense perceptions, and the intuitive faculties in mind and how to tap them. And the soul perception in man, how to channel its power, and the power of faith and prayer to work miracles, and the cosmic memory, and how to tap this power for creative miracles. I just love the way that he teaches this particular subject. It's very interesting how many synchronicities that you can hear in this particular lecture. If you've been listening to the podcast for a while now, then a lot of the stuff we're listening to really rings true and is coincidental. The reference to the cosmic mind and the thought currents and really gives a broken down subject of, of the universal laws in a great way. I think it's really important when I read this, the way it makes me feel is it really slows down my mind and slows down my focus. It singularizes my focus in my environment. He's very good at exploring consciousness on this particular level. And I think that you can take a lot from this. I'm definitely going to go back and listen through it a few more times. Every teaching that we've had so far with Anthony Norvell has been amazing. And he gets right to the core of what we're talking about. You are a part of this cosmic mind just like me. It is amazing when you think about the way that trees grow and the incredible technology of life around us and the way that everything works, the way he points out these simple things. When you look at a banana, when you look at a grape, when I look at these things, they're so amazing. And having that sense of awe and gratitude and wonder is a beginning point that is very effective and powerful. When you look at the beauty and power of this universe, what an incredible creation. Not only can you verify that there is that single creator, but more importantly, you can really start to see the incredible creative ability 
that we have on this planet is amazing. The creator has done incredibly wonderful things. Uh, the way that humans are constructed, the beautiful views of this earth, even the tiniest insects, every detail is wonderful. And every day I am just blown away by this wonderful creation that we are within. As we talked about on another episode, as discussed in Urantia, there's 10,000 different universes and multidimensional variances in each of those universes. And of all the universes, I'm really, really happy to be in this particular one because it is amazing. And I hope that you can keep that sense of awe and wonder in your life because when you do, everything becomes different. You find great joy in the smallest things. And this joy turns into gratitude, which you broadcast out and amazing things happen when gratitude comes to you in that way. That's all I can say. I'm sending out love and joy to everybody listening to my voice now. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share these teachings with you. You have no idea how much I love it. So thank you. All episodes of The Reality Revolution can usually be found at therealityrevolution.com. And welcome to The Reality Revolution. Welcome to The Reality Revolution.